Hello and welcome to the Girl That Went For It podcast. I'm your host, Johanna Scholz, also known as Johanna Lian on Instagram and author of Believe in Life, How to Dance in the Rain. If you want to live your dream life and become the best version of yourself, then this podcast is for you. I hope that I can inspire and encourage you to never give up and to always believe in yourself. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Johanna underscore Liana for daily content. And now enjoy this episode. What does living in balance mean and how can we actually find our balance or live alive in harmony with our true self? So in this episode, I'm going to talk about all these things and I hope you enjoy listening to this and um, it would mean a lot to me if you sent this episode to a friend who is into the same things like alignment, manifestation, being the girl that goes for it. If you want to give this episode a thumbs up or however you call this here on Spotify, like um, a star review that would mean a lot to me because I put so much work and heart and soul into this podcast and that would help me to get this project going so yeah let's dive into this so we all probably had this before we feel like something's off or doesn't really sit right with us or we just we just have a day where we feel off or a week or a month or a whole year sometimes time flies by and often that is because we're not living a life true to ourselves, true to our goals, what we desire, because yeah, we're just living out of alignment and out of harmony. So living a life in harmony or balance means being in harmony with your true self, values and aspirations. It's about living authentically to your true self. And I know that a lot of you struggle with saying no. I'm not saying all of you, but saying no to others when you want to say no, like let's say going um, to a party or something. The reason why I know this is I asked you guys what you struggle with when it comes to living a life in alignment with yourself. And that was like most of the most common answers um, that you struggle to say no or that you listen to other people's opinion more than to your own opinion. I mean, there's nothing wrong with asking others for advice, but in the end, it's your life and you have to make the decision and you have to feel in harmony with your life. So of course you can get your friends, um, ask your friends for advice, but in the end, it's up to you to make the decision and to listen to your intuition. So Yes, so feeling in flow or off flow, is that how you see it? Um, so feeling like everything makes sense or like feeling like truly aligned is when everything happens easily. Like you know how sometimes you work so hard to achieve something, like you put so much work in and it just doesn't come easy to you. It's because something is not in alignment. It's because you're... you're goal doesn't really sit with your beliefs and don't get me wrong that doesn't mean the goal that you have is wrong it is something that you have to work on inside of you like you have to work on your beliefs so maybe there are some limiting beliefs that hold you back from achieving the goal that you want to reach so that why it feels so hard to get there it feels like you're put, putting so much work in it's because something is not in alignment it's like your goal is out there and you want to achieve it but something inside you isn't I wouldn't say isn't ready yet it's just programmed the wrong way so maybe you told yourself in the past I don't know if your goal is to move overseas maybe you told yourself in the past oh, this will never be possible for me because of X, Y, Z. And this limiting belief is so anchored in your mind that you can't reach your goal or it just feels so hard for you to reach your goal because there's something inside you that's holding you back. So that's something you really have to work on and I created a group coaching for that that I'm actually going to do again next month. So when this episode comes out, you can text me if you're interested in living a life in alignment with yourself and reach out to me, say I'm interested in your alignment course and I send you more details. Um, but yeah, let's get back into the topic because there's so much I want to talk about. So now how can you make sure that you live in alignment with yourself or like live a life in harmony? Pay attention to the moments when you feel most alive, when you feel most happy, like the moments that bring you joy, where you feel passionate and motivated. 
And these are indicators that you are on the right track. And also pay attention to when this happens. When do you feel most alive? When do you feel like the happiest? And write those things down. You can write it down in your phone. You can write it down in your journal. Just make sure you write down the things that make you feel good. And then reflect on, okay, how often do I do these things in my life? Like, where can I attract more of these things into my life? And do more of that because that will help you to feel more in alignment. And also just be aware that every path, every person and every person's path is different. Just because something works out for another person doesn't mean it will work out the exact same for you. That's for, for sure. And never like compare yourself. But also don't compare yourself in like when you see like a person that's super in alignment and is her most authentic self or his most authentic self remember that you are on your own path and it will happen for you too so understand that you are an individual and in, <laughs> understand that you are an individual and you have to do the work to find your alignment your harmony in your life and it's not by comparing your life to other people or other people's life or to other to like another person because you are so unique and you will find your true path you just have to spend some time on figuring that out in order to live a life in harmony with yourself it's so important that you let go of external expectations so don't expect anything from the outside world to happen it is all from within it's all about your values what's important to you what makes you happy what brings you joy like i said that before so let go of the outside world or like let go of what's happening around you and pay attention to what's happening inside you and also be open to change our mind wants to keep us safe and we want to stay in our comfortable bubble um but it's so important that if you don't feel in a, like an alignment with yourself that something has to change i mean it's quite obvious if you don't feel in harmony there is something that needs to change and again this is not the outside world that has to change it has to change from within and there's like so much going on in our mind like our mind is just mind blowing um there's so much inside of us that we sometimes are not even aware of this is something i'm going to talk in my online course and my group coaching as well um so my group coaching is Aligned Mastery and it's about really figuring out what's going on in your mind. So if that's something for you, I just have to say this again because I'm just so proud of creating this program and um, having it ready for you and doing another course next month. So we're going to have live coaching sessions um, where you can ask me anything. But I feel like I'm, I'm drifting off topic here, but I'm just so excited about this because I'm going deeper into the mind talk in the year. I feel like if I would talk about this here now, this podcast will be like four hours, this episode. So um, yes, um, so like to just sum this up, like living a life in Harmony with yourself is all about you and what's happening within you. It's not that you have to pay attention. Oh, I'm not living my life in alignment because I am not living in my dream house. Or like the out, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't focus so much on the outside world. It is about the inside. Alignment starts from within. And that's so true. Although I want to pick on like a few topics that we can change or maybe become more aware of um, that are happening in our outside world but again I want you to know that feeling in harmony in your life of course is something that happens from within but what I want you to do is to think about things you do daily like when you get up um, go to work or whatever it is um, and people you surround yourself with radio like let's say a radio channel you listen to in your car or podcasts you listen to or music you listen to just pay attention what you're listening to and what words come up this is so deep but it happens in our unconscious mind that we pick up vibes and you know it best when you listen to a sad song and you are also feeling sad. It just gets you more into the sad feeling and makes you feel even more sad. So that's like something that's just 
proven. And the same goes with even if you're driving in your car, for example, and this one sad song comes up and you just start to really feel it. It is all like things that you do first unconsciously and then they come into your awareness. But just pay attention to what you surround yourself with. Like what even like what Netflix show you're watching that subconsciously comes into your mind and um, makes you feel maybe a little bit off. Another thing that I want to talk on here in this episode is about manifesting um, because of course your life will feel more in harmony when you start using manifesting tools and start manifesting your dream life. The power of manifestation is that you have to change something, of course. And also, some people think it's some kind of magic or expect magic to happen, but it's actually not. It's just rewiring your brain because you might have known this when you start dating someone, for example, and they have this car. For example, when I started seeing Jules, I felt like I saw his car everywhere. Like you just start to pay more attention unconsciously. You start paying more attention. This car might have been there before, but before I started seeing Jules or dating Jules, I didn't notice that car. And the same goes with your name. Like when you are in a room full of people and they're all talking and then you pick up your name that someone is talking about you or like let's say you go out for dinner with friends and you like 10 people, I don't know, and then on the other end of the table someone says your name because they're just telling, uh, talking about you, you pick that up without paying attention consciously but because it's in your subconscious mind you pick it up and that's the same with manifesting like attracting things into your life that feel in harmony with how you want your life to look like or feel like if we start thinking about these things like okay what do I want to change what do I have to change to feel more in alignment with myself when you start focusing on these things or start being becoming aware of these things you will pick them up more and you will attract them more so that's just one thing that I think is so important because some people say they feel not in harmony with themselves but they actually don't know why they actually don't know or they don't really spend time on it which is fair enough because we don't learn it in school like we actually get taught so many things we shouldn't do or I don't know like we get told how we should live our lives but as I said earlier everyone is different and it's so important that you really pay attention to what is important to me and how do I want to live my life and stop comparing yourself to other people. And as I said, as soon as you start becoming aware of what's important to you and start focusing on that, more of that will come your way because you are wiring, well, you because you are kind of changing your focus. Instead of like living your life each day like you did the last few years you start shifting your focus and you start actually focusing on the things you want to attract so once you become aware of that once you start really paying attention okay what feels good to me and what can I attract of that more into my life your life will change and shift it's not like a magic magical trick all of this um manifest manifestation work it is really about what's happening in your brain and what's happening unconsciously. And um, yes, yeah, so this episode, I hope this helped you to understand a little bit more about what does it mean to live in harmony with yourself? Why do we not feel in harmony with ourselves? As I said earlier, I go deeper into this topic in my online course where we have a session each week together and I talk about all things mind, what's happening in your mind and um, working towards a life in alignment with yourself. So if that's something for you, feel free to reach out to me and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode and talk soon. Well, that does it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for listening and tuning in today. If you like this episode and don't want to miss any new ones, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Feel free to share it with your friends or on social media. It really means a lot to me. It will help me to create this podcast. You can find me on Instagram, Johanna underscore Liana. I'm always happy to connect, so flip me a message if you want. Enjoy the rest of your day and always remember, it's a beautiful day to have a good day. It's a beautiful day to be alive.